You got it, David. Thank you very much. Well, Lewiston Cemetery has a problem on its hands. The roof of its aging mausoleum is leaking. Even worse, the cemetery doesn't have the money to get the roof fixed. Mm. Now, this is a heartbreaking issue for those who have loved ones resting in the leaking mausoleum. Here's Steve Brown with his Two on Your Side original investigation. I you to me. In a bar. <laughs> I beat him in a pool game. That began a love affair that became a 52 year marriage for Sandy and Brian Masterson. They had two daughters and six grandchildren. But in January, Brian passed away. He had a lovely funeral. He died during a snowstorm out in front of the house here shoveling snow. Brian Masterson's final resting place is at this mausoleum at Riverdale Cemetery in Lewiston. My mom and dad were there, my aunt and uncle. I had been going there on a regular basis for my mom and dad. It just seemed like a natural place for us to be too. But when it rains, and for some time after the rain stops, water seeps into the mausoleum. Have a look at the carpeting in the mausoleum. Lots of water stains in places where you can see clearly the carpet is wet. And this is hours after the most recent rain stopped. We're going to use a paper towel to show you how wet the carpeting is. Just set it down once, step on it once, peel it off my shoe, and the carpeting is that wet. Sandy Masterson says she's very familiar with the wet mausoleum carpeting, seeing it regularly on her visits for the last six years. I see the water. I mean, not that it, it would matter where it was, but it is right in front of my mom and dad. That's driving me crazy. Whitney Malum is on the cemetery board. We've spent considerable money trying to address the problem permanently, and no fix ever seems to work for more than a year or two. Malum says the two main challenges of maintaining the mausoleum roof are that it's flat and it's made of cement. The uh, freezing and thawing and the rain and the winds and stuff like that uh, open up little seams where the water comes in. Then there's the other challenge the cemetery faces. This place is just about broke. An annual report submitted to the state shows the cemetery in 2017 lost $10,000 and ended the year with a little less than 21 grand. And Malum says the fiscal picture at Riverdale is not really any better now. So how is it that you'll have the money to be able to fix the roof on the mausoleum? Good question. That's, that's what we got to try and figure out. And minus a more permanent fix, Sandy Masterson worries over time what the seeping water may do to the structure that houses her husband and other loved ones. What are you going to do if the building starts falling apart? You're going to move all these graves to where? And then what's that going to cost you? That building's got to be fixed. Strapped for cash, Riverdale Cemetery has reached out to local government, the town of Lewiston, for help. And that puts Lewiston Supervisor Steve Broderick on the spot. Broderick tells me he's okay with in-kind assistance like plowing, but doesn't have any money in this year's budget to give to Riverdale. But according to state law, if Riverdale goes insolvent, the cemetery gets transferred to the town, whether the town wants it or not. We'll keep you posted. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.